All right, I'm going to go through the process of uh, making a digital elevation, a high resolution digital elevation model in ArcMap from a pair of stereo photographs that are taken in the field. Uh, I use Photomodeler Scanner as the interim product to, to generate the dense surface model or point cloud. So here uh, we have two photographs that were taken in the field using uh, a Canon SLR camera that was mounted to a Stadia rod by means of a ball head. Uh, both of the photographs have been loaded into Photo Modeler Scanner. I saying file, add photographs. Photographs were added in and a series of uh, reference points were created on the photograph. Here we can scroll in. Here you can see there are a series of marks here that also are corresponding marks here. I've generated an initial an initial uh, point cloud here from this pair of stereo photographs, and you can see there's some noise on the corners. So what I'm going to do is run through. Uh, I'm going to create a couple more reference points and regenerate this uh, point cloud and export it to ArcMap. So I'm going to close that guy. Now, the areas where I see noise are here and up here. So I'm going to I'm going to create a reference point here and show you how I create a reference point. I'm just going to use one of these little white marks on the corner here, these little pieces of shell that are on the edge of this looter hole here. And I see that space in both of the photographs. So I'm going to make mark a point here. I'll select that point. Go into referencing mode. And reference that point over here. Okay, and the other area that I saw as being problematic in the model was up in here. And this time I'll mark a couple of reference points. So let's find where, where we are here a little better. Okay, I think right around this rock is going to be some useful things. So I'm going to come back here. Mark points mode. Whoops, wanted to go back and re-register the spot that was already registered. So this little piece of shell here, there's a corner here. And then I'm going to come back out and I see this other little piece of shell here. Okay, so I've got two reference points. I'll go ahead and select both of those reference points. Make photo to the active photo. Switch into referencing mode. And start marking. This is giving me some guides showing me where basically should be going. And I'm going to zoom in here and see exactly where I put that because I want to replicate its location as best I can. Maybe not the not the best reference point to choose. Something with a little bit sharper angle would probably be better. Let's go back and look at this guy again. I think it would be prudent to put another reference point out here. There's one there. Let's, let's consider this Save this friend over here. Oops. Come back. Scroll into this zone here. Yeah, that little piece there looks promising. Can we find it in this image? Is the question. There it is. Okay, so we'll go ahead and come back. Mark that point, come over here, go ahead and select it. I'll use the quick referencing mode. Mark it over here. OK, 
Okay, and so in the quick referencing mode, I can select it here, I can select it here, and we'll just link those two spots. Okay, so we've got a few more reference points. All the reference points were created in that basic process. So now I'm going to process the project. We'll rebuild the textures. Okay, the textures are rebuilt. One of the things I want to do is since I'm not using these, I'm gonna bring up the product properties of these and I you don't really feel the need to use those in processing because models I'm gonna show you about don't really involve those two photographs.